guys and welcome to another video in the Python programming tutorial for beginners. In this video we're going to talk about the standard library in Python and I'm going to show you like the most important functions that is already built in Python. So we don't need to install um, other packages or doing some, some imports. It is just like the functions that are built into Python and some of them are very useful and we're going to use them a lot in later videos. So I'll show you some, some examples of the most important ones in this video. So let's jump into the Jupyter Notebook. So we're now back into Jupyter Notebook again and in this video we're talking about uh, the standard library in Python. And I'm going to show you some different kind of examples with the built-in functions from the standard library. And I'm also like how to read up, uh, get up, uh, get some documentation of, of the standard library and so you can read about the different kind of uh, built-in functions. So the first example I have here is the, um, is a list with a number, so how to add numbers in a list. And then we can use the, the built-in function called sum and then we just give it the, the parameter or we pass the argument numbers to the, to the function which is a list from 1 to 5. And then we take the sum of all these numbers together and store it in the variable result. And if you have a shift enter, it will print out the result, which is indeed 15. So we have taken the, the sum of all these numbers in, in the list. And this was one of the built-in functions, like there are many built-in functions and I'm going to show you like how to how to like find the building functions there is and you can just like simply go to, to Google and then just type in Python building functions and then it will pop up in the start here which is just like the, the, the documentation for for Python uh, Python's, um, Python's uh, web page and then we can see a list of the building functions here and we can read up documentation for for all of the all of the different functions so in this case we just use the sum function um, out here so we can just like it's it gets like so we can click on it and if we click on it we'll go down to the documentation where we can uh, read a bit about the functions so we chose like this sum and then it takes and parameter iterables so it will take a list it can go through and sum all all the all the elements in the list and then there's also like a start condition from where to start and and another parameter that you can like uh, read about in in the documentation here so and then like the sum start and the item of the iterable from left to right and return to total which was uh, which was the case i should just showed you where you took the list from the left to the right and just summed all of the elements together so and then the iterable items are normally numbers and the start value is not allowed to be a string so yeah, like you can go into the documentation here and read about the different uh, functions and also like you don't need to remember all the functions that, that are built in, in the Python library because like it's just too much. So it's better to know where you can look it up and find the documentation and also like how to, how to like use the functions. And then this, this uh, web page here is a really good example to give you an overview and also like just have a lookup table of the different kind of uh, built in function there is in the standard library. So I'll show you a bit more about uh, these functions and if you're finding something, just take the absolute value here of some, uh, of some uh, given number here. It just says that it will return the absolute value of a number. The argument may be an integer or floating point number. If the argument is a complex number, its magnitude is returned. So like you can use, you can use this to like know what, ty what type of parameters that is allowed in the function. And in this case, we can both pass an uh, integer float number or a cl complex number, and then it will do a uh, different kind of stuff. So like it's, it's really important that you like go into this, um, go into this library and lower like documentation to just see what the different kind of functions returns and what type of parameters that they take. And also like what data types the parameters are. So like it's, it's very useful. So let's go back to the Jupyter Notebook and take one more example where in this case, we are working with the rain function, which just takes um, a number and then it, it makes a range. So in this case, we're, we're doing a for loop where we just run from X in range zero to hundred. And then we can also like specify the steps here, which where we take uh, 10 steps per, per um, like per range. So it will be uh, 10, 20 and so on. So if you print this out, we'll get like zero, 10, 20, 30, 40 and so on until we, until we get to 100 because then we take step to 100. So we'll print out these 10 numbers uh, with the range function here. We can also like don't specify uh, this, but then we'll print out like 100 numbers. So it's also possible. And then this parameter has to be in like an integer. And it's also like possible to go in here and and, and read it up. So if you go down here, uh, we can see that we pass the number numbers here. 
and it will return the number rounded to n digits precision of the decimal point and so on so yeah it's it's really important that you that you know like how to look up uh, those those functions from the standard library uh, these are just a, a couple of examples but they're pretty they're, they're pretty much like the most most used and important examples to like remember in uh, in, in your in your head and then you can for other functions you can just like know where to look it up so the next example is here is to create a list and then get the length of a list where built in function so we just create an empty list here first and then we have a have a value here uh, a variable here running through a range from 0 to 11 so we get like 11 numbers and then we just uh, create the list and use this function uh, append which is also a built in function and then we just append the number um, from the range to the to the empty list here, or like the created list, and then we print it out. But we can also like take the length of the list is if we want to like um, do some something with that length. Or for example, if we're tracking like how many people is in the picture, and we store I I each person in in a list, like then we can take the length of a list, and then we know how many people are are in the picture. So if if we just hit, hit Shift Enter and print this out, we first get the the string here with the eleven number uh, the list here with the eleven numbers. And then we can also take the length of the list and print it out. So indeed, the length of the list will be 11 because there's 11 elements or numbers in that list. So another use, it's a very uh, useful um, built-in function as well to get the length of a list or a string or something like that. The next, the next one is like more like how to get a help or if you just know a function and just fast want to or quick want to look it up in, in Python, you, you don't want to Google or search for anything, you can just call like this help function, which is very useful as well. So this is how to get easy and fast help as I just wrote here. So if we notice some function that is called sum and we just want to know like what is the sum function, we can just uh, use this function help and then specify, it, it can either just be sum or it could be a string. Uh, if it's a string, you'll just look up if there's some something called a sum. So if I hit Shift Enter, it will return it will return some uh, description of the function. So here is just we get help on the built-in function sum in module, and it is just the built-in functions in the, from the standard library in Python. And then we can see that we get the same result here as if we looked it up in the in the built-in functions like in uh, in this web page in the in the Python documentation. So we can see like some iterable return the sum of a, of the start value plus an iterable numbers. So it's the it's the same as if we just went in here and uh, find sum here. So it is it is pretty much the same. It says so it's a it's a faster way to look it up if you already know what the function uh, function's name is. But like if you don't know the function name, you can just go into this web page and and find it as well. Another very important thing is. If we like want to get the name from a module, like let's say we import a very large module and we don't know the functions, or we just like don't remember a, 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 a kind of function that we need. In this case, I'm importing the Open Open Computer Vision library, and then we can uh, use this function uh, dir, um, and then call like the library or the module library we imported. And if I hit Shift Enter, it will just take some time because there's a lot of functions and and stuff like that in this library and then we can then we get a list of all the elements that is um, that is that is in the module so we can like for example just see all all the functions that is already implemented in in uh, OpenCV and it can for example be like we want to make the color from BGR to RGB and stuff like that so and so yes, it's really important to just like get this list and if you don't remember a specific function, you could just like, it, it's something about colors or I go down to color and it's, and it was something about RGB, like how do we convert RGB to, for example, grayscale and then we know, oh, I can go down to like color RGB and then we can see like, oh, it's, it's called two gray and then we can just like copy paste or then we know what the function is and we can simply just use that. So it's very, uh, very important and a nice feature as well in Python. Um, to look um, to look it up and also like to get a fast overview over the different functions in 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 a, in a module. It's also possible to like just look it up on Google, but this is way way faster I think. And it's also imp uh, very um, important because then you ha don't have to like go between different tabs, so you can just stay in the same window and you can like see what kind of functions here, and then you can type the functions or or something else in in, in another cell under. It is very very important. 
and if I just do the same with the math library and print it out, it's pretty much the same. But if there's not many functions, like if we just print it out like this, and we can see in the math functions, we can have, for example, exponential, and we can have floor, factorial, as we used in previous videos, and stuff like that, and also pi. So it's very important to use these um, these uh, nice features here um, when you don't know like a function or you're using a lot of libraries and modules that you can necessarily remember. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. We've been over like the standard library um, and a bit about like most important and simple uh, functions that we're using pretty often in Python. And then like the most important thing um, from this video is probably like how to read up the documentation and also like how to just get it fast uh, with the help function here or the dar uh, dear function inside the Python Jupyter Notebook and also just like in, in a general ordinary Python script. So yeah, thanks for watching this video guys and remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification under the video and also like to, to, sh to like help me grow this channel and so you can also get more videos about this in the future. In the next video, we're going to talk about like how to read up more documentation or if you have some errors or you want to debug your code, like how can you read it up on Google and I'll show you like how if I have an error or I need some solution to some kind of problem, like how I look it up on, on Google and find a solution that I can use. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video guys. Um, I really hope you like this video and like you, you know how to do the basic stuff in Python now. So I'll see you in the next one guys. Bye.